What's going on everybody? Vinny here from Anything Android. Today taking a look at this ROM with Sense 2.1 and also Sense 3.0. It's basically a mixture of both. Uh, you'll see the characteristics of 2.1 and 3.0. 3.0 being evident right here on the lock screen. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, basically you just hold down an icon. You can go right into it by holding it and putting it into the into the uh, circle, or take the ring, pull it out to unlock the device. Um, as you can see here, it's clearly 2.1, considering there is no uh, infinite loop and there's no 3D effect on the home screens. So that portion of it is definitely 2.1. Um, this ROM is very stable. Uh, GPS has worked fine with me. Uh, 4G I haven't been able to test out because I uh, haven't been out of the house and I don't get 4G in my local neighborhood. So I will get back to you guys on that. Uh, camera and camcorder have worked just fine. Um, anything else you guys want to know that works, uh, go ahead and ask me. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm m missing something there, but you get the gist of it. it. It's it's stable. I haven't had any issues with something not working. Flash is supported. Um, um, let's see. Getting into it here, uh, you can tell you have the you know the one page scroll instead of row by row by row going up and down you you have a page so you go by each page up and down kind of close you have your frequent and your downloaded right here so that's the app drawer there I'll get into the settings into the about phone just so you can see what I'm running and I'll go right here to software and right there you can see it's running on Android 2 Point three, point three, and since version 2.1 however as you can tell there are definitely some uh, 3.0 features within this ROM um, go into it here and you can see right here we have lock screen so go into lock screen to personalize this you have some you have seven different uh, options you have the friend stream so you know you have your friends going back in the background their updates and whatnot a uh, big clock which you can choose from a few. Uh, your photo album, uh, a different photo album from the Sensation. I think this one's from three uh, Evo 3D, and this one's from the Sensation, if I believe. But anyways, here's just a basic wallpaper and clock at the top. Uh, so you get stocks, and then you have this one, which I'm currently running, which is weather. Um, say you want to change it to French Stream, or yeah, okay, we'll do French Stream. So I hit click apply, it's now applied. Now say you also want to change your four buttons here. Say you want to change camera. Say, you know, you're just not using camera that much. So click on it, bring up your list of apps, and say you feel like you want to use music more often. So there you go, you have music, click done, and you'll be set to go. Go back into lock screen to see if that worked out. It's loading here. There's your friend stream in the background, and there's music. So if you want music, jump right into it like that. Pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> there aren't any themes on this ROM. Uh, you know, market isn't themed, nothing like that. It's pretty much plain Jane. Uh, but very, very nice, uh, very fun ROM. Uh, also, something nice. Uh, if you saw my review of the other 3.0 Kingdom port for the Evo, uh, you don't have the brightness. The brightness doesn't work. Uh, however, on this particular ROM, it works just fine, and it's it, it, it's one of those things that that's just kind of nice to have. Uh, I, I use it every once in a while, but. I mean, you know, when it's late at night and you're, you know, about to go to sleep, you don't want the brightness all the way up here anymore, you know. So it's really nice to be able to adjust it. You know, in the other realm, it was always constantly on the highest level. But as you can see, you can adjust it.
I have it turned down right now just so you can see it on the camera better. Uh, but anyways, uh, also, you know, you have your normal other settings. You know, your sounds, your displays, your locations, your keyboards and such. Uh, see you uh, hold down on the screen. Your personalized display, your scenes, your wallpapers, your skin, your widgets, apps, folders, and then your personalizing sound. Um, go ahead and do skin here. Just show you guys what you get with this ROM. Uh, you get HGC, you get metal, you get blackboard, slate, and wood. So, you know what? I'm going to switch it up real quick and let's say. I want to do slate. Apply. Oh, French stream network has stopped unexpectedly. Okay. <clears throat> I think that was just because of the loading the skin. It's probably going to load up there in a second, but I'm going to get into the weather here. You have some very cool weather animations. Right now it's raining out here in Henderson. You can see you got this cool display. I'm going to show you guys a little demo of the uh, other themes. You got Sunny here. You got Thunderstorms. This is pretty cool. You got Cloudy. You got fog. Fog is kind of neat. You know, fogs of these trees in the background. You got Hot, which is basically the desert, which is where I live. <laughs> See that one pretty often, and then partially cloudy, partly sunny, rain, which you guys just witnessed, then you have snow. And last one, windy. So, pretty cool. You also have a lot of neat uh, sounds to go with everything, so it's kind of fun to have. You see right there, you know, typical HTC stuff. Uh, you know, there's the other weather. Here's the weather widget. You know, just it's just a nice, uh, nice feeling ROM. Also, it's kind of a cool addition up here. They included a uh, battery indicator, so you know how much percent you have left on your battery. Uh, I, I really like that feature personally. Um, also, going to the auditory, have some things that are included. I'll tell you guys what's included. Uh, you know, other than the normal stuff, so something you might you know not see on every ROM. You have uh, the DSP manager, your Explorer, uh, uh, typical things here. Other than of course HTC Hub. Um, uh, Sprint Hotspot, which is unlocked. Uh, titanium backup didn't come with it. I downloaded that. Uh, so not much that comes straight out with the ROM actually, but we'll go ahead and go into Quadrant here because I know you guys are probably wondering, at least some of you guys out there, probably wondering what this mighty ROM might score. Let's give it a second to run through its steps here. Um, personally. I'm not a big Quadrant fan. Uh, as long as the f phone feels fast and smooth, I'm pretty happy with it. And honestly, that's pretty much the feel of this phone. It's it's you know really quick, really fast with this ROM. Uh, it's it's not. I haven't seen any lag yet, to be completely honest. So I want to take the Quadrant score into a huge account to be, uh, you know straight with you guys. You know, as you can see here, it, it got a, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to focus in on that, but, uh, yeah, it's not going to focus in that deep. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it's a 1083. So, not particularly amazing, but, as I said, you know, the, uh, the feel of the phone is that it's quite quick, so you, you're not going to feel any lag. Run a benchmark on Linpack real fast. Linpack's done pretty good. I've usually been getting 
35 to 40. There's a 35. I'll do one more real quick. 35. Okay, so about 35, which is pretty much what I've seen. Do a quick uh, show of you guys here on the notification bar. As you can see, oh, oh, I'll clear this out real quick. You have your most recent applications up here, which is very nice to be able to jump quick back right into what you were doing. And then you have quick settings. You have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Sprint Hotspot, GPS, 4G, mobile network, and all settings. Uh, toggle those on and off right from the notifications bar. Um, that's pretty much it. You still have Leap. Uh, there's not much more to it. Obviously, you still have, you know, HTC Hub where you can go in and you can get more skins if you'd like. You know, you'll get more. You sign in next, you know, whatever. I, I haven't gone through that yet, so I can't show you that right off the bat. But anyways, you know, it's pretty straightforward other than that. It's a very nice ROM. I personally will be running this for quite a while. It's super stable. It, uh... I haven't seen any lag or many bugs at all. I mean, you will get a force close here and there with uh, a couple of the widgets, mainly the friend stream and the weather sometimes doesn't load um, immediately. But other than those little things, I mean, if you can get past that every once in a while, you you know, you're going to fall in love with this ROM. It's a very fun ROM to have. It's very quick, very speedy, very nice. It'll, you know, give your phone a refreshing feel. Oh, so, you know, uh, that's uh, going to do it for this video, you guys. Uh, just uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you'd like on any underscore Android for any updates, uh, announcements related to Android, and I'll also probably be announcing when I'm doing videos as well. Um, so keep it posted on that, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.